Hi, today I'm going to talk about a prime and a composite number. Prime and composite number is very important in our number system, especially in number theory. When you take higher level math class, you're going to come along with these numbers or words in this case, okay? So, prime number is a natural number. Prime number is a natural number greater than 1. That has exactly two factors, 1 and itself. So let's actually analyze what does it mean actually, okay guys? I'm going to have some, well, the natural number. What is natural number, okay? A natural number is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so on, excluding 0. So we call it natural number, okay? Now, if you have a 0, we call it whole number or counting number, okay? Now, also they said greater than one so what does it mean so it has to be any number in order to be a prime number must be bigger than one so is it two dollar is greater than one dollar yes obviously is one dollar greater than one dollar no okay so i want to make sure that we understand this criteria here okay then of course they said it has exactly two factors so what does it mean i'm going to actually put down here two factors so one and there is another factors okay so they are saying one should be here or it could be other side and this one should be here two factors and of course there's a multiplication all right let's analyze let's start with the one example first example here okay i hope you're gonna follow me okay so is one is a prime number i'm asking you guys is it one is a prime number obviously not why because it fails to satisfy the condition. Why? Because they said any number is a prime number which is greater than 1. Any natural number is a prime number which is greater than 1. So this 1 is not greater. 1 is not greater than 1. So we just close this out. This is not a prime number. Okay. Next one I'm going to look into here. 2. Is it 2 greater than 1? Yes. Okay, so then we go down to that side. So we can say 2 times 2 times 1. We break it down, right? That is, that is how we can break it down. So, yes, we have two factors, 1 in itself. There is no other factors. So, therefore, it is a prime number. So, yes, yes, it's a prime number. Okay, 2 is a prime number. Now, how about 3? Is 3 greater than 1? Yes, right? Then, of course, we check out 3 times 1. That satisfies our criteria. So, therefore, 3 is a prime number. Now, I'm going to take a look on number 4. 4 is greater than 1? Yes, okay. But we have to look into what are the factors down here. So, we have 2 times 2 times 1. Some will say, how do you get that, right? We can do a tree diagram. We can actually break it down like that, okay? Like finding prime factorization, okay? You have to break it down until there is no other factors, okay? So, look at here. I can only have a number in itself. So, this is extra. So, therefore, this 4 is not a prime factor. Okay, 4 is not fine. All right, let's take a look here, guys. I'm going to go to the next one here. What is a composite number then? Okay, all right, composite number. Now, a composite number, obviously, the number, those number is not a prime number. Of course, it's greater than 1. So, another way I can say is a, any natural number, it's any natural number greater than one that is not a prime number which is a composite number i repeat it twice actually as you know i'm slowing down here make sure we understand this okay or i can say it a little bit different way also a natural number that is divisible by a number other than itself and one so you have a number it is divisible by other for example number four we already seen so four is divisible by two and number three is divisible by mm -mm, only by number th three okay no other number so basically we're going to inspect actually 
these numbers down here so we're going to have some intuition what is composite and what is prime okay let's take a look here on the first one down here okay so as you see there are so many numbers they put down okay and you can follow the pattern this one is not satisfying why because this is not greater than one so we just cross it out right there okay i can use the different ink here crossing out right there this is not a prime nor composite okay let's take a look at number two so number two clearly is a prime number why because two times one is two okay because two times one is two and you have a two factors it's not divisible by any other number so therefore it is a prime number okay here you go this one we are talking about the composite well i'm going to come back one after another and you will hit composite number actually let's take a look number three is it a prime number well let's take a look three times one is three i cannot break it down any further okay again three i can do it like this one three times one is three if you have this i can break it down okay so as two 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 times one that's all i can do so you have only this all right so that's basically the prime factorization okay and if you need to know what is prime factorization please uh, a video coming or the prime factorization also now four here you go so what is the four here four is a composite number why because four will give you two times two and therefore you can break it down so it's called composite number all those underlying number is going to be composite number and of course the number i'm going to circle is going to be basically prime number here okay so this four is composite number okay this four is composite number why is composite number because you can break it down and of course it's divisible by some other number okay now let's take a look at number five is it number five we're going to check out here right guys is it prime yes why not five times one is five therefore you have only two factors and that satisfy the criteria of prime factorization in other words you cannot break down any other, no factors at all okay now six you can break it down three times two so therefore it's not a prime okay it's composite okay now you know i'm gonna check out with those here okay so seven you cannot break it down so please tell me what is that seven is what prime okay some of you notice that two was even number three was odd number five was odd number seven was odd number now some of you saw oh, nine is odd number therefore it's prime no obviously not it's not what is the case nine you can break it down so i'm going to show you here again nine how you break it down okay nine three times three so nine has three times three okay so therefore it is not a prime and so as eight eight is not a prime also why because it can be two times two times two you can break it down that's not a prime this one you cannot break it down 11 try it can you give me a factors no 12 you can break it down 13 i circle down the prime 14 you want you can break it down 15 you can break it down 16 you can break it down 17 you cannot break it down 18 you can break it down 19 you cannot break it down 20 you can break it down 21 you can break it down 3 times 7 2 times 11 23 you cannot break it down 2 times well as you see you divide this one 5 times 5 this one 2 times 13 this is also can be break down this is can be break down this one is not 29 and 31 is not going to be break down okay this one 3 times 11 okay so i'm going to check out only with yeah 37 you cannot break it down and 39 of course you can break it down as you see once you cannot break it down it becomes your prime number okay sorry it becomes your composite number my apology okay 
You can break it down, it's a composite number. You cannot break it down, it's prime number if it is greater than one. I hope you understand uh, what is prime and composite numbers, okay? And remember, it's very, very important. You wanna have your base on math strong, you should know what is prime and composite numbers. Thank you for watching this video, thank you.